Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, well, you know, before I begin, this is going to be another speculation theory video, and you guys might have noticed I've been doing a couple of these lately, and uh, one of the things that I realized is that a lot of people really enjoyed these fan theory and speculation videos, and I thought, well, why not? I've done my fair share of it, and I've got plenty that I want to get off my chest and share with you guys regarding like the future of certain uh, film and television franchises and what we may or may not see in upcoming films and TV shows, you know, I might as well throw my two cents in as well. So uh, keep in mind that this is another speculation and theory video. None of this is officially confirmed or uh, denied, so to speak, but uh, I also might be going into possible spoiler territory. I may predict, I may or may not predict things we might see in the upcoming film Godzilla King of the Monsters which is what I'm going to be covering in this video. So during the most recent uh, during the second trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters which was awesome loved it there is a glimpse of what looks like a monster rising up uh, out of the mountain or not really out of the mountain but it's actually like a part of the mountain like it starts to raise out of the earth in this forested mountain range and it starts to like uh, raise up and it looks like it's a big round shape like almost like a turtle shell or something one of the popular theories out there is that this is uh, the classic monster Angiris. And Angiris basically looks like a giant uh, spiky uh, turtle. Well, no, not really a turtle. More like a um what kind of animal? Armadillo. That's it. He looks like a big spiky armadillo with a long spiky tail and uh, big claws and teeth and a big uh, pointy nose and like a, a horn for a nose and horns on his head. And despite his ferocious appearance, he is actually uh, quite an asset to humanity and a friend and ally to Godzilla. Now, they've clashed before on occasion in previous films, but a lot of the old movies that I've seen the two of them in together... They're usually fighting side by side. In fact, there's one film, I believe it's Godzilla versus Gigan, is when Gigan and Ghidorah threaten Earth, Godzilla and Angiris go to Japan to fight them off together. And there's a humorous scene where Godzilla and Angiris are seen talking to each other. Like, uh, their voices sound squeaky, like they're making these weird squeaky noises, but they're actually talking to each other, and Godzilla instructs Angiris to go check out to see what's happening on the mainland. So the reason why I bring this up is because uh, it's possible Angiris might appear in this film. We don't know what kind of a role or presence he'll have, but something did occur to me. Something occurred to me when this possibility was presented. Uh, back in July, before the first trailer dropped at Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con, an image was released of Godzilla standing upright, blowing his atomic breath into the sky. And when it asked about it, director Mike Michael Doherty said that it is a pivotal a pivotal sorry it's a pivotal moment in the film and he doesn't want to give away too much but he does comment and I quote he says it's sort of a call to arms it's sort of a call to arms. Now, the leading theory is, and there's other videos on YouTube here you can look for it, the leading theory is that Godzilla is using his atomic breath as a signal to call forth uh, the other monsters to help him defeat Ghidorah. So the theory is he fights Ghidorah, gets the hell beaten out of him, recuperates or uh, heals himself, but then he calls for help uh, for the second final round, and it's assumed that he'll have both Rodan and uh, Mothra, or at least Mothra, at his side to help him take down uh, Ghidorah. Now, ideally, in my opinion, ideally, all three monsters, Rodan, Godzilla, and Mothra, will team up and take on Ghidorah in this big four-way fight. Now, we may or may not get that. If Rodan doesn't join them, Rodan might actually side with Ghidorah, so it might be two-on-two. -two. Rodan and Ghidorah versus Godzilla and Mothra. But when the director said it's sort of a call to arms shooting the atomic breath into the sky, 
if he isn't referring to Rodan and Mothra, he very well could be to referring to one of Godzilla's longest old-time allies, Angiris. Perhaps Angiris is awakened uh, by the awakening or the return of Godzilla or Ghidorah or any of the other creatures. And Angiris is out roaming around on the Earth. And uh, when he sees uh, Godzilla's atomic breath signal, he decides to respond to his call for aid. And uh, then uh, the two of them take on Ghidorah together. Now, one of the actors, uh, O'Shea Jackson, has teased that the big final epic fight will be ultimately come down between Godzilla and uh, Ghidorah. So my theory is, is, is if any of these other monsters do help Godzilla, they are either injured or killed while fighting Ghidorah, and Godzilla is the last one standing to finish Ghidorah off once and for all. So maybe Angiris will be there for a brief period during the fight to help Godzilla take down Ghidorah, and Giris is injured, ideally not killed, but injured, and then Godzilla finishes off Ghidorah. It's just a thought that I had, and I'm sure I'm not the first one to think of this, but considering the long-time alliance between Angiris and Godzilla, how they've usually fought side by side, and it's implied that there's like a respect between each other, it wouldn't surprise me if, if he was in this movie, we would see him going to Godzilla's side in uh, the time of battle with Ghidorah. Now, if Angiris isn't in this movie, this is another kaiju that's cool too you know it's just a new uh, monster we have yet to meet but uh, like i said ideally if godzilla does get help from any of the other monsters it will most likely be mothra since she's been typically more of an ally than rodan has ever been rodan's been kind of an anti-hero in the past he's helped godzilla before but they've also have fought each other as well so anything's really possible and it's really hard to say without having seen the film obviously and i doubt anyone attached to the project is going to reveal oh yeah there's a big fight scene between this character and this character you know we just we're just going to be guessing and speculating at this point but that is what adds to the fun and the excitement so what do you guys think do you think Angiris will appear in this film and do you think he will help Godzilla fight and possibly defeat Ghidorah and if he's not there during the final fight between those two will he at least uh injure or incapacitate incapacitate Sorry, I can't talk tonight. Uh, injure Ghidorah enough for Godzilla to finish him off. I want to hear your thoughts, opinions, and your commentary and your feedback down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Godzilla King of the Monsters is only four months away. It hits theaters May 31st this summer. It's going to be fun. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the night. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.